Hey guys, it's me, Don. And I have another video. Okay, this is different. This ain't a comic book haul video this time. This is a... I guess... Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to title this video exactly yet, but... These little figures... Uh, Marvel Legends... Uh, Marvel Legends series. I guess that's what they're called. I got all of these from my local Ollie's. And believe it or not, uh, since I've gotten all of these, they have not put any more out. So I don't know, I guess they're not, I guess they're not making these anymore. Or I don't, I don't know, but I saw them and I thought, man, this is cool because it has a lot of the characters I like. Now there's two characters in this, two figures that I have that, like this one, in this one, which I don't exactly know. I mean, I know it's written on the box and the name of the character, but this one, it says, I think it says Hydro Man. Well, since I have this one, let's start with this one. And. La -ta -ta. And this one's pretty cool. It says Hydro Man. And. Put it back about there so y'all can see it a little better. I'm having difficulty with my lighting, so there might be a glare on the bottom right down here, and I kind of there we go. I did it like that, and I'm not sure exactly who this character is. Like if he's one of the a member of the X-Men or something like that. I think it says Hydra Man. I'm assuming that's like some kind of a water ability of some sort. Um. But I just thought this was pretty cool. Um, uh, and not too much I can say about this. And on the back here, it shows the different characters that you can get. Michael Morbius, which I have right there. Michael Morbius. One of my favorites. As well as a few others on here. And... Uh, let me see the name. Marvel Rogue. And there's Rogue. And I think I have this guy. Uh, Marvel's something. I don't know exactly what his last, the that last little part of the name is. But, next. I guess I'll do this one next. And, this one says Marvel. Uh, I don't even know how you pronounce that. This right here. But, that's the name of this character, I assume. Um, it's a little difficult to pronounce that. But I thought this was pretty cool. I mean, these are actually pretty good looking uh, action figures, I think. And I'm, I believe the, I believe that they also have these in like a bigger scale than this. Like, this is small. But I think they have, like I saw a Michael Morbius one at my local uh, book of... Uh, uh, I think it's Books a Million or whatever they're called. And, or whatever they're calling themselves now. I think they changed their name if I'm mistaken. Boom or something like that. I think it's the name of it or something. Or Bam or something. Their name. And they had a Michael Morbius. But they had the same one. Same exact box but only bigger. And here's a look at this character right here. Hopefully y'all can see this character really good. Uh, and that's the end of that one. This is probably one of my favorites. And that is Michael Morbius. The Living Vampire. <laughs> That was a little too much, I think. <laughs> yeah. Now, this character, when I was a kid, they had, they basically had this Michael Morbius, you know, the character, in Spider-Man, the animated Spider-Man thing. And he looked totally different from this, but it was interesting, nevertheless. And, uh, yeah, it was weird. Supposedly, 
Michael Morbius was a scientist, and he somehow got his hands on some of uh, Spider-Man, Peter Parker, aka Spider-Man's blood, and then some kind of vampire bat was, you know, somehow got into the lab or something, or was something or another, and got supposedly it got hit with some kind of a machine, and then it, uh, and I, and I, I'm I'm assuming that he got either bit by a vampire bat or somehow or something i don't even understand it to be honest but I, you know it was very cool and this is michael morbius hmm. and that's the back nothing really too special about the back and yeah <laughs> He kind of, you know, it's funny with the costume that this action figure has on, Michael Morbius. He kind of looks like he's a rock and roller, just a little bit, <laughs> kind of. And this is the next one, Spider-Man. I have two Spider-Mans. This is this one. It's more of a, you know, the traditional Spider-Man uh, color and the, you know, costume and everything. And it's uh. Well, it just says Spider-Man, and it's kind of cool and everything. Um, here's the oh, bumping my my background there. <laughs> and here's another one, and it says, "Well, Spider-Man." I'm not sure what that word is. Uh, but that's the name of it, I'm sure of. Um, this one's very interesting. Very, in uh, la, 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 la. very interesting looking. It's black and silver. And I thought that this was kind of cool. You know, I've never seen Spider-Man have a uh, Spider-Man outfit like this. I guess this is maybe just a different, like, well... Like a some kind of special Spider-Man outfit or costume, just like you know when he had the Iron Spider outfit or something, I guess. Um, I guess you know. But I thought this was really really cool, you know. And I just think it's really neat. I'd love to see them have this costume in a movie or something. And the next one, which is by far my personal favorite is this one and it's Iron Man but it's it's like old school you know like Iron Man and it's you know it's very cool it reminds me of the first Iron Man movie when Tony Stark was in the cave and he he created the first Iron Man armor and everything that's essentially that's what this kind of reminds me of and it's really 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 cool you know, it's like a a rough version of that of of uh, the you know Iron Man armor, and it has a little arc reactor or or whatever it's called. I think it's arc reactor or something like that. <sighs> but it's very cool. And let's see here. Give me one second. but like right here in the back it has like a some kind of an antenna kind of thing I guess or something and yeah and I just thought this was really really cool now I know you're probably would probably want me to open these on camera and stuff but when I get stuff like this I just I, I can't bring myself to open them because i like, if I was to want to say one day, 50 years from now, I want to sell these one day, and if I was to open them, they wouldn't be worth anything anymore. You, I wouldn't be able to get very much for them in my, in my golden years, in my old age. That's basically why I collect, <laughs> I guess, to save up for my old age. <laughs> hmm. 
um, that's pretty much it. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please comment down below. Please subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Bye-bye.